So Sox has had a major improvement with the power layout of his system. It now looks like spaghetti. Originally it was just the X728 hat as seen here, but this proved to be insufficient to run all 12 servos at once. When I was running all 12 servos, I was maxing out power at roughly 38 watts. I couldn't keep up with the power demand. It would crash the Raspberry Pi. So what I did is I built this instead. So what this does, it takes in the standard USB-C cable and using a USB-C fuller, it takes in 20 volts at five amps max and passes it to this board that I made. What it, this board does is it monitors the battery voltage level to see when the power in the batteries is less than 12.6 volts. And if it is less than 12.6 volts, it allows current to flow through this buck converter with constant current and constant voltage supply. Meaning that when there is a lower voltage than 12.6 volts, it will maximum put out three amps into the batteries. And as it gets closer to 12.6 volts, it will feed at 12.6 volts and not exceed 3.0 amps. After that, this board will cut the power by using a MOSFET to cut the ground off so it stops powering the CVCZ converter. After that, power is sent through this mechanical switch to enable the entire system to be shut down hardware-wise. If used to prevent things blowing up, another voltage and current reader, and then it's split into two paths. The smaller path goes through a buck boost converter down to five volts and feeds the Pi directly. All the parts on the Pi are what has been seen before. The other side goes through a larger buck converter, which brings it also down to five volts, but independent of the other five volt supply. This one feeds the servos. This allows SOX to have two independent power supplies, allowing SOX to not crash the, the Raspberry Pi when it turns on the servos, which was the issue I was facing earlier. Everything else is the same. I just had a lot of work to do by designing that board, rebuilding the battery compartment, along with the battery management system board that I bought off the internet, and combining all that into one. But now, SOX works. Socks now has power.